I'm really late on this because I was out of town, but Anthropic dropped a new gem, a high quality coding model built to power heavy duty agentic tasks. Allow me to introduce Claude Opus 4.5, the best coding model available, and I'm not joking with that claim. The Anthropic team really went to work with this release because this new model is super intelligent, efficient, and hands down the best model in the world now for coding, agents, and full computer use tasks. They're also saying it's meaningfully better at everyday tasks like deep research, which is something I personally doubt, and I'll explain later on why, but it apparently works really well with slides, spreadsheets, and structured business workflows. Overall, this model is a major step forward in what AI systems can do and preview at a larger shift, which is coming as to how it gets things done. In terms of benchmark scores, it is hitting state-of-the-art on real-world software engineering tests, scoring an 80.9 percentage on the Sway Bench Verified test, which is an insane number that surpasses every other model right now, including the new Gemini 3.0 Pro, as well as the previous Claude Sonnet 4.5. In terms of pricing, it lands at $5 per 1 million input tokens and $25 per 1 million output tokens, which is definitely on the expensive side and higher than the newly released Gemini 3.0. It also supports a 64k max output token length, as well as a 200k context window. Same as the other models in the lineup, which is kind of unfortunate. I was hoping to see a jump to a full 1 million context window, but we'll likely see that with the 5.0 series next year. Now, in terms of benchmarks, this model is outperforming every human candidate on Anthropic's notorious difficult two-hour performance engineering take-home exam. It highlights exceptional technical ability under pressure, and beyond coding, this model is showing major gains in vision, reasoning, and mathematics, and achieving state-of-the-art results obviously on the Sway Bench, Multilingual, Aider Polygoth, as well as the Browser Comp Plus benchmark. It is also demonstrating stronger long-term task reliability, scoring 29% higher than Sonnet 4.5 on the vending benchmark. And notably, on agentic evaluations like the T2 bench, Opus 4.5 even devised a creative, legitimate workaround, which is upgrading customer's cabin class first to allow later flight changes and showing deeper problem solving than the benchmark itself expects. Now, Overall, this model is doing insanely well in coding benchmarks over even something like the Gemini 3.0 Pro, which just released, which is scoring state-of-the-art on every benchmark from computer use to agentic terminal coding all the way to agentic tool use. This is quite impressive. Before we get started, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, Webflow AI, the all-in-one platform that lets you design, build, and scale digital experiences at the speed of imagination. With Webflow, you don't just make websites, you build full digital ecosystems from product pages to entire experiences, all powered by AI. You need a landing page? Just describe it. Webflow's AI instantly drafts structure, layouts, and content that's ready to publish in minutes. And here is where things get smarter. Webflow introduces AEO, which stands for Answer Engine Optimization. Think about SEO 2.0 where AI helps your site stay visible, accessible, and human-friendly. With one click, Webflow's AI audits your website, and it is going to be able to suggest real-time fixes, faster load times, better design balances, and content that ranks across AI search engines. No more endless tweaking, because the AI does the heavy lifting for you, so you can focus on what actually matters. What's wild is that before Webflow, this would take a full dev team, now, it's just one creator, one platform, and infinite potential. With Webflow AI, you can design smarter, build faster, and create digital experiences that think ahead. Start building today at webflow.com and bring your imagination to life with the link in the description below. Now, my two cents after testing the Opus 4.5 isn't just a great coding model. It might lack in certain areas like front-end development as Gemini 3.0 is something that does better at it. and while being a lot more cheaper. But where it absolutely shines is hard coding with backend engineering and tool-driven workflows. Its ability to execute multi-step agentic tasks is genuinely impressive with stable, logical, and reliability even without special prompting or tuning. This is where, in this example where I'm showing this video, 
the Cloud 4.5 Opus can complete an end-to-end -end task of doing taxes. This workflow is going to be accomplished in a single pass with no fine-tuning, just straight reasoning and task execution at 20 times the speed. The level of autonomous tool use with this model, plus its deep technical reasoning, is where Opus really sets itself apart. And like I mentioned about the reasoning mode enabled or not, if you select the no thinking mode enabled, honestly, the difference with thinking on isn't that dramatic. The Opus 4.5 is already so stable with the base model, and it's so confident in tool use workflows that turning on chain of thought barely changes the output quality. It gets slightly more verbose, but maybe a bit cleaner, I guess, in the step-by-step -step planning but the actual results are almost identical. So rather than paying a bit more, I believe it's better with no uh, thinking mode enabled in certain tasks, not every task, but in terms of the base quality of this model, it is super superior in comparison to other models I've seen. This is where it's going to be a lot cheaper with the Gentic task, where it's going to save you tokens, even though it's priced super high, it's going to save you a lot of money in terms of using tool use efficiently rather than any other model we've showcased. So if you're looking to get started with this model, you can access it through Claude's chatbot, but the only thing is, is that you're gonna need Claude Pro to use the Opus 4.5 directly within Anthropic's chatbot. You can access it via API, but say if you do not wanna pay for an API, you can use Kilo Code because they offer a free $25 credit that lets you access the models for free completely with an API so that you can use it within something like uh, cursor or within any sort of ID like VS Code within the Kilo Code extension. Another way is using Open Router. This is another option for you to access the Cloud Opus 4.5. And the best part is, is that Kilo Code is an open source extension. So you can click on install Kilo Code and you can install it also through the extension store by going over to Kilo Code and downloading it. And then on the left hand side, you can access it. But now we can start running the test with the Claude Opus 4.5. You can select this model and start generating things. So our first test is actually going to be create a SaaS landing page with many features. This is a baseline test I usually send into every model to assess how well it is in terms of its front end capabilities. And you can see with Kilo Code powered by the Claude Opus 4.5, it is going to work on generating the SaaS landing page. We're looking for creative output. We're looking for its capability in planning the structure out as well as how proficient the front end code is for the SaaS signing page. And right now you can see a live stream of it and it is going to work on generating all the components for it autonomously. And something I've realized so far with the generations is that it is thoroughly working on making sure that each component is thoroughly generated. It is uh, spending a lot more time in comparison to something like Gemini 3.0. Even Gemini 3.0 spends a lot of time, but you can see the amount of lines of code it worked on generating for the SAS landing page. Obviously, it works a lot better with a coding agent like Kilo Code, but you can see that there is approximately over 1,400 lines of code for just this front end, and it's working on all the variables and generating components for it to be functional. And it looks like it is still generating the styles CSS file. And there's over, I believe, 3,000 lines of code. So you can see how much effort goes into generating all the components. But there we go. This is our SAS landing page that it had generated. And it actually looks pretty decent, in my opinion. There's animations. You also have the cookie banner. And this is overall something that it was able to generate quite quickly. It added the carousel for the trending companies, added animations to it, which is really nice. So it was able to meticulously focus on every component really well. Its front end capabilities are not the best, I'll tell you that. It's not better than Gemini 3.0. Maybe with prompting, it can get there, but you can see that the small things a part of this model is what makes it a proficient uh, model that you would want to use for development. Overall, it did a great job, in my opinion, with this SAS landing page. I would give it a 9 out of 10 overall with its functionality. But with its front-end style, it's still the basic, typical AI-generated uh, front-end style, which is not horrible, but you can see how interactive and how thorough it was able to generate each component. It just keeps going, and it did overall a great job. All of these small features makes it perfect, in my opinion. With the dark mode, it looks a lot better in my opinion too. 
and you can see how much effort it put into each component. Also, another thing you'll notice is that its browser use component is a lot better in comparison to previous models. This is where it can debug and test a lot better. It's obviously going to be a lot more expensive where it took $2.55 to generate the SAS landing page. But in terms of its overall quality and using the browser use agent, it is going to be really helpful in finding and testing bugs. In my next test, I had requested the Opus 4.5 to generate an SVG of a butterfly. And this is where it did this. This is incredible, guys. In my opinion, this is better than the generation I saw of the Gemini 3.0 it was able to create a really cool looking butterfly. I didn't even tell it to create animations for it, but it had done that on its own and it's interactive. It made sure uh, all of the components are symmetrical and it did a great job overall in generating this. Next up, I'm requesting it to create a browser-based operating system and you can see that it is working on generating the plan for it. Essentially, we're trying to see how well it is in terms of proficiently generating this application and how it's able to code out all the components. So it spent approximately $1.70 to generate the landing page. And this is essentially how it looks. Go ahead and open it up. You have a loading animation to start up the operating system, which is absolutely awesome. We can go ahead and sign in by clicking enter. And there we go. This is our browser based OS, which actually looks Pretty good in my opinion. You have better icons in terms of SVG. It did a great job in generating these different icons. You have the file explorer, which actually works. And this is actually great. And you can actually open up these different individual applications. There is documents, downloads, all of these components have been fully thoroughly generated. You have the media player, which looks awesome. I don't believe this is gonna work, but it looks a lot better than what I saw previously with other models. You have a paint, all of these are functional apps that have been generated, which is just awesome. Notepad works, the calculator also works. You also have a weather app, which is great to see. You even have a terminal and this terminal will actually function as well. You have a calendar, you have a browser, which is really great to see. And it actually prompts you to open it up within another uh, prompt within your web browser. There is a settings tab where you can change the personalization. You can change the wallpaper, which is pretty cool in my opinion. So you can see how meticulous it was in terms of generating all of these components, which is just great to see. There's a snake game that also generated directly within the game. And I believe you can actually interact with it, which is just wild to me. You also have Minesweeper, which it also generated. And there's different levels to this. So in my opinion, this is just impressive because each detail has been meticulously generated. You can see there's a tab section. There's also the actual windows, or not windows, but you have that uh, window that pops up whenever you click the main settings tab and you can log off, you can restart it, you can lock your device. So each component has been thoroughly generated. And in my opinion, this model is actually the best coding model that I've seen for backend related tasks. So in my opinion, the new tech stack that I would work with is having Claude Opus 4.5 powering my backend related tasks and using front end capabilities of Gemini 3.0. And with the combination of the two, you're gonna be able to generate a lot of great things with these two models. Next up, I really wanna test the stress test of this model by using a prompt like working on multiple subtasks where it's gonna test the model's end-to-end -end agentic dev skills. This is where we're testing how agentic it is and how it can orchestrate multiple tools. We know this model is really good with tool calling. So I want to see how well it is in terms of performing this task where it can clone a public GitHub repository for a simple web app, run a, and build test commands in the shell. If the tests are failing or lint errors, fix them automatically, commit your fixes and push them back, then set up the basic CI config files and then generate the brief summary. So essentially, we're having it run down on understanding the code, fixing failures, producing different changes with minimal human prompting, which is where I wanted to see how well it is in terms of performing all of these specific actions from automated debugging to CI CD configuration, to also different tool orchestrations and web search use cases. We're going to see how robust it is with a prompt like this. So it looks like it has finished accomplishing this task and you can see that it was able to clone the repository which it did 
it was able to run the build test and it was able to see what sort of errors it found. It fixed them automatically, like the issues amongst all of these different files, and it was able to resolve all of them. And at the end, you can see the pull request list that it had generated, which is great to see. And at the end, there's also the different branch that it created with all the edits and the final test results it was able to uh, list. Now, within Open Router, I had prompted to create a Minecraft clone, and this is what I have gotten. I have gotten the control list. I can click enter, and this is the Minecraft clone, which actually looks pretty good in my opinion. Now, in terms of the functions, though, it's not working as I want it to be, which is kind of unfortunate, but I guess you can play some blocks, which is kind of great to see. It added a great atmosphere and terrain. And what you can see is if you're turning around, there's an interactive GUI at the top left that showcases the FPS. That's actually showcasing the live view of it, the facing direction, as well as a couple other things like the chunk and the ground. Now, I'm not too sure why my current uh, build is not working where I can move. Maybe it's because I need to install the files locally to have it operational. But this is where I did a great job in generating these different components quite rapidly. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. Overall, I believe Anthropic is making a good standpoint in the AI field right now with the release of Claude Opus 4.5. This is a really great model in my opinion, and this is personally the best coding model available. Uh, for front-end related tasks, you can use Gemini 3.0, but with its Agenta capabilities, this is a perfect model that I would 100% use as my day-to-day -day model. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Huge props to the Anthropic team for killing it with this model release. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already. Join the newsletter. Join our private Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.